Hi there, this is Alvin with kickstartcommerce.com and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to install a WordPress plugin that will help you to optimize and speed up your site. So let's get started. I have a local install of WordPress here um, just running on my local machine and so what you'll need to do is actually go ahead and log in to your WordPress. Now let's see if I can get my password right. Okay, and once you get logged in, so from the dashboard, what you'll need to do is go to plugins, and then we'll need to go add new. And then the plugin that we want to use is EWW. And it's the EW, EWWW image optimizer. So this one here. And so we'll go ahead and install it. Now you could also use the EWW image optimizer cloud, which would mean that you would store your images in the cloud. We're just going to use the optimizer, the regular plugin here. And essentially, if you have a lot of of uh, images, so let's say you have an image gallery or the images that you upload are just uh, not optimized in terms of their size. So I know some of um, some of the users of this community, you know, you've sent me emails in regards of how do you, you know, get a get a file size, um, you know, down from let's say a meg, three meg, four meg, or more than a meg down to, um, you know, let's say 60, 70, 100 um, uh, kilobyte size. And so what we what I tend to use is this plugin here, um, the EWWW image optimizer. So once you install it, it's active, then go to the settings. And everything here uh, should be all clear. If not, then you'll need to make sure that all of these are green and not red. If they are yellow, sometimes you can move forward without them. Um, the thing that, out of the box, what I what I typically say is just leave everything the way it is. Um, you could try to do the PDF optimization, but you'll need to pay for the pro account to do so. As well, you could also do the cloud op optimization API key, but you, you're going to have to purchase a key. Um, and just click that link to find out more about the EWWW um, plans for their API. Nevertheless, keep the settings as is. And then the main thing here is going to the advanced settings. And you could put this value at 100, although um, you could... I typically say leave it default just because the WordPress quality is typically good enough. Um, you could put it higher if you wanted to. Also, you could uh, include your regular or your existing media library folders. And so, you know, you could have it scan all the images there and then optimize. And then here you could tell it if you have other, uh, let's say that you were using another plugin that did not put... Uh, images or store images in the uploads folder then you can specify here using the full path so this path into likely WP dash content slash uh, whatever the the user folder or wherever the user folder is is defined so you would put um, and I'll just show you here just as an example you would put this in and it may be something um, let's just say it was something like uploads and they had another folder that set photos. You put that there and then let's say if you had additional um, folders, so for each additional folder you know, or, or directory, you'd have to put a line in for each of those. So I'm not going to do that, uh, but you could and then you could save that uh, as well. And, and like I said, these basically will um, optimize existing files. And so that's pretty much it. And you don't notice any difference in how you use WordPress. So once you get it installed and it's active, then you can go ahead and begin to add um, your media files in and it'll optimize automatically. And then you'll be able to add that file to, um, you know, into your post and, 
your file will no longer um, degrade your website's performance and if anything it'll likely increase your website performance which obviously uh, increased website performance is a search ranking factor not the only factor but a ranking factor so you would then you know begin to feel uh, or rather realize search ranking improvement um, hopefully is the case so that being said I hope that this tutorial uh, helps you out helps you understand there are many others WP smush is another plugin that you could use but nevertheless this um, EWWW image optimizer plugin is the plugin that I use and recommend for people so um, leave me a comment or question below should you have any and please feel free to or rather I'm asking you to sign up or subscribe to our YouTube channel as well as visit kickstartcommerce.com for more search marketing and domain investing ideas to grow your business. Thanks. See you soon.